Hey everyone, what's up? So, I'm um, guess what we're folding today. I'm going to show you how to make this new model I designed. Check it out. It is, it's an origami rocket ship, and it's folded from a single square sheet of paper, no cutting, taping, or gluing. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to turn it into this. I'm going to show you how to, like, make the, the fins right here thinner. See how on this one they're kind of thick, but on this model I made them thinner. And so yeah, so I'm going to show you to do that as well. Alright, ready, set, here goes. Alright, so for these two rockets, I'm going to use a 6 inch square of Kami. But you can use an ordinary sheet of printer paper cut square, so um, let's begin white side up and let's fold in half. We're making a square base. Now unfold and fold in half this way. Alright, now fold this point to here. And turn over and fold this point to here. Alright, now open the pocket and bring the sides together like this and flatten it. And here we have the square base. So orient it so that the open side is facing you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these corners and we're going to fold them to here, all layers, but we're not going to make the whole fold, we're just going to make a little crease mark in the middle here, so just like that. Now unfold, now rotate, and remember here's the open side, it's on the left side, and we're going to take this top flap here and we're going to fold this point to the intersection of the crease and the pinch mark, so, and crease it sharply. Alright, and now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this down and we're going to turn over and we're going to balance it out so that we have the same amount of flaps on both sides. So we're, we're going to do that by folding this down. So as you can see, we have two flaps on this side and two flaps on this side. We're going to be doing that throughout this whole model. So turn over and we're going to do the same thing. So fold this point to the pinch mark. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. And crease sharply. Okay, now fold this down, turn over, and let's balance it out by folding this flap down. These flaps count too. You can fold these down too. <laughs> okay, turn over and do the same thing. So fold to the middle, crease sharply. Oh, my camera focus first. I have a hard time focusing. <laughs> okay, and fold this down. I'm going to look at the screen as I'm doing this, just to make sure it focuses. Okay, and turn over and fold to the middle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So the, re the reason why we did that is so that these flaps that we fold in, they're all going in the same direction. See? So it's like, it's rotationally symmetric. Okay, so, now we're going to do a tricky step. Not too bad though, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this raw edge and we're going to fold it and we're going to fold it so that this point touches this point. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to actually open up this pocket here like this, kind of like you're making a squash fold, but what we're going to do is we're going to fold it so we're folding underneath this layer. So we're going to fold it so that this point touches that point. Oh, my camera. Okay. And you want this corner to touch this corner too. Okay. See? That's what it looks like. Okay, now you can unfold that. And now, just for fun, let's just make a little crease mark right here. So we're just gonna fold on this crease you just made. Just like this. And just make a little crease mark. That's just gonna be our guide mark because we're going to make a crease that goes from that pinch mark. So we're going to do that later. So, Alright, so now we're going to do the thing that we balance the flaps out. So fold this up, turn over, and fold this up, and zoom out for this. So we have two flaps on both sides, and let's do the same thing. So take this and we're going to fold it. We're going to fold this so that this point touches that point and this point touches here.
okay? And fold it back up, and you don't need to make the pinch mark. <laughs> okay, now fold this up, turn over, and fold this up, and do the same thing. Okay, unfold, fold this up, turn over, and fold this up. And I think this is the last one. <laughs> okay, and unfold. And yep, yep, that was all of them. Okay, so now um, we need to find that pinch mark. So, oh, there it is right there. And just balance it out so we have the same amount of flaps on both sides. And we're going to make a crease going from this pinch mark all the way across. Here we go. Actually, we really didn't need to make that pinch mark. There was actually no point in making that pinch mark. We're folding it in half, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so that pinch mark actually, it's in the middle, so yeah. So yeah, that pinch mark really isn't necessary. <laughs> so we're folding it in half. <laughs> okay, now unfold and turn over and let's just kind of run your finger all over the crease just to loosen it up. And let's repeat on this side, fold it. So we're just reversing the crease. We were run I was running my fingernail over it just to make it easier to fold it in half on this side. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> like that. And now we're going to fold this up. Remember, here's the, the open side. We're going to fold this point to here. Or, in other words, we're folding this in between these two points. Alright, now unfold. Let's just loosen the crease up with our fingernail. And let's reverse it. Okay, just like this. All right, now we're gonna turn this into a box. So here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna open it up here, like this. Put our hand inside, and we're just gonna let these creases come out. Like this. <clears throat> so here we have a nice box here, and you can keep it like that if you want, but make the rocket ship so we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna fold these flaps down right on these existing creases so here we go so let's start with this one so um you can just pick any one you, you want <laughs> so we're just gonna fold it down on the crease <laughs> just like that easy as that all right and now do, do that three more times so like this and like this this and here's what it looks like okay so now um we're gonna collapse this thing flat so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a water bomb base out of this square so here's what we're gonna do so we're, we're just gonna take these creases and we're just gonna just bring them together like this it can be a little bit tricky at first but just do the best you can it's kind of like we're making a sink fold we make a water bomb base out of this square. All right, now on here it gets kind of funky looking, but just just kind of rearrange the flaps how they were. Just to, like refold them if they get crooked, <laughs> and yeah, and then just kind of flatten it like that. That I believe is probably the hardest step. <laughs> so I hope you can do that. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And now let's. Make it like let's, let's, so, we, so we add the folds there too. Okay, just like this. All right, so now we're gonna do is, uh, yeah, put it back to where it was, just like this. Okay, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, this and yeah, we, we had to rotate like this. That's what we had to do. <laughs> I was kind of forgetting. Okay, fold this edge to this crease like this. Yeah, you gotta make sure that these points are on the, the right side. Okay, just like this, and now fold it up. Turn over, and fold this up. So we have the same amount of flaps on both sides. Two flaps here, and two flaps here. Okay, let's do the same thing here. So fold this edge to this crease. Like this. Okay, and now fold it up. Turn over, and fold this up. And... 
yeah, keep it on the side and fold this edge to here. Okay, now fold this up, turn over, and fold this up, and repeat here. So fold this edge to here. Oop, my camera focus first. There we go. Okay. Okay, and this is what it should look like right here. Okay, so now, um, this this side right here, it's gonna be the tip of the rocket ship. So, um, we're gonna make we're gonna make this pointy. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna eliminate these four flaps. So these flaps here. So how do we do that? Well, what we're gonna do is let's zoom in quite a bit for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up right over this edge. Like this. So we're airplane folding it. Like that. Now unfold. And now we're gonna open up the, the pocket. Like this, just stick like a, a pointer tool inside, and we're gonna tuck that flap in. And this is kind of tricky because it's small. It would probably be easier if you use like bigger paper, like 10 inch paper or 12 inch or whatever, bigger. <laughs> but yeah, and just kind of stick it in like that. Okay. And that's what it looks like. Alright, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And then the other two sides too. So here we go. Fold it up over the edge. I'm gonna go at my own speed for this one. And then the other two I'm gonna fast forward. And just get a pencil or a pen, open up the pocket and just tuck the flap in. Like this. And flatten it. Okay. And now fold this over, turn over, and fold this over. And we're gonna do the same thing. And on this, I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so here we have the point of the rocket complete. And now let's work on the fins. So, <laughs> this is really the, the rocket. <laughs> But the fins, you know, are kind of funky looking. Y you could keep it like this if you want, but no. I'm going to show you how to make them look like fins. So, um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to start on this white one here, so. Well, yeah, it, it needs to be on the white side. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take this, and we're going to fold this right over this edge, like this. And my camera focus first. It's like my camera has a hard time focusing, like, at certain points. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's just how cameras are. Sometimes they won't focus. <laughs> okay. And we're just gonna take this and we're gonna squash it just like this. That's about as best I can explain it. That's kind of hard to explain, but yeah. Okay, and now this white flapper here, we're gonna tuck it into this pocket. So let's open up the pocket using a pencil or whatever you have. And just tuck the flap in. It's actually a little easier than what we did here. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, and then the other two I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, and now um, let's do the same thing on these two, and I'm going to fast forward this part. Alright, and now here we have the simple version of it. This is the, see, here we have this one right here, see? like that all right if you like it like that then you then you're all done but if you want to make the fins more thinner right here then here's how to do that so let's zoom in for this and let it focus okay so 
we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it up in between this point and this point. See, you just fold it up like this. And the edges won't align. Okay, and now unfold that. And now let's fold it inside. So just put your finger into that pocket and fold the flap inside right on the existing crease. Like this. And try and make it as clean as you can. <laughs> so it looks better like a fin. Okay. Alright, that's about the best I can do. <laughs> try and make it pointy right here. Okay. Like that. And then the opposite side. And then the rest I'm going to fast forward. Alright, now let's do it on the other sides. And here we go. And I'm going to go fast on this one. Fast forward. <laughs> okay, and now, zoom out here, and now the fins are thinner. See, there it is. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool looking model. And yeah, and it stands. See, and let it stand up. See? <laughs> and yeah. So, alright. Hope you guys managed to fold that. And yeah, and comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Alright, bye bye.